Hello and welcome to another episode of Inside Admission at Wilmington College. I'm Danny Hart, Associate Director of Admission. Well, here recently we've had many rising seniors visit our college campus, and with those visits come questions from not only the student, but from parents. They're asking questions like, what do I need to be thinking about? What is my list of things to do throughout my senior year to make sure that I stay on track in regard to landing somewhere for college next fall? Well, the first thing that we always emphasize is to visit, visit, visit. If you have a list of colleges and universities that you're considering, make sure to schedule a visit, an individual visit, so that you can have the discussions, have those conversations, uh, be able to see the campus, and to get the information that you need in regard to making that all-important college decision. Also, here in just really a few weeks, most colleges and universities will have their applications up and available for fall 22 admission. I know here at Wilmington College, typically around the middle of July is when we have our application up. You can also use the Common App to submit your application to Wilmington College if that would be your preference. Our in-house application or the Common App are fine. Either one can be used in regard to applying to Wilmington College. Also, go ahead and contact your high school guidance counselor and have them send us your transcripts. We can make an admission decision based on what you've already completed through your junior year. And you can actually send those transcripts to us without having submitted your application. We can take your transcript, uh, we can tuck them away, have them waiting in the wing to then join with your application when we get your application later this summer. And then, of course, uh, throughout your senior year, many colleges and universities, um, in addition to offering individual visits, will offer program days. Now, program days are different from the individual visit. Program days are typically uh, focused on a particular academic area or a particular interest of the student that is participating in those program days. Those program days are, again, with other students and families who are looking at the college uh, that you chose to uh, participate in that particular program day with. Uh, but again, those are options. And you need to be watching your emails and your mailbox for those opportunities because, again, many colleges and universities, and I know specifically I can speak for Wilmington College, we're going to get you information that you need in regard to you being able to see those program days and to find one that would work best for you and your particular interest. And then October 1st is a date to keep in mind. Um, October 1st is the date that our seniors who are looking at fall 22 can uh, go ahead and complete and submit their FAFSA, the free application for student aid. This is important. Now it's not due on October 1st, but the gate opens for you on October 1st again to complete it and to submit it. And on the FAFSA, you can list colleges and universities that you want that information to go to. We here at Wilmington College will use that information to package you financially in regard to determining what state, federal, and institutional aid you will receive in, additional, in addition to any um, scholarships that you might receive from Wilmington College. We're going to use that FAFSA to uh, make those uh, considerations and to make those decisions. And if you need assistance or have any questions about the FAFSA, be sure to check in with your high school guidance counselor or if you've established a relationship with your uh, admission counselor at the college or university that you're looking at, feel free to reach out with, uh, to them. They'll be happy to help with that. And then, of course, we always encourage during your senior year a second visit. Come back, take a second look, see the campus, have, again, those conversations in regard to finding out the information that you need to have in your back pocket to make the decision as to where you're going to land end up in fall 22 as as the case may be and then january typically colleges and universities will start packaging you financially to let you know what the bottom line is going to be in regard to how much you will be paying to go to that college or university again using the fafsa information to determine state federal and institutional aid so in a nutshell that's kind of the timeline 
uh, that we would ask our rising seniors to follow, um, use this information to stay on track. There's a lot that needs to take place between now and getting to college next fall. I know it seems like a long time, but trust me, it's going to go very, very quickly. And again, we hope this information has been helpful to you in regard to a timeline and to uh, the list of things that you need to be checking off during your senior year. Again, thank you for joining us here at Inside Admission at Wilmington College. We look forward uh, to seeing you next week.